What's up, you guys? I just finished packing up. Uh, I'm going on a trip tomorrow. Woo! So I thought real quick before I go on my trip that I would just take you through the interior of the truck where I sit and just show you all the components, all the different devices and things that I use. And hopefully some of you find this useful. So let's go take a look. All right. So we are inside the truck and uh, let's, let's go from left to right. First thing you'll see is I have a Garmin InReach uh, Explorer Plus on a suction cup ram mount. What's cool about this ram mount is that there's these two little prongs down here that allow that make contact with the bottom of the Garmin so that when I plug it in like this, then uh, it charges it. So when I'm on the go and I need to charge it, it's really easy and I kind of just pop it off to use it for a second, put it back on and I start charging again. Super easy. Uh, so that's that. The next thing over here, I'll just go ahead and go over to show, show you the ham radio since it's the mic's on the left of the steering wheel. Anyway, doesn't matter. So this is the uh, Yaesu FTM 400 XD ham radio unit, the 50 watt version. I think we only have 50 watt version actually of this one. Um, but this is what I use every time I go off-roading, camping, exploring, whatever. I'm either listening to repeaters or I'm listening, talking to friends. So this is a unit that I absolutely love. Highly recommend if you're gonna get in the ham radio and you're not sure what radio shoes, this is the one for sure. So over here is the mic, going back to the left side. I have the mic mounted to a, I forgot what they call this. It's called a Nightz, Nightz, something like that. It's by a company called Steely, or maybe it's called Steely and it's a company called Nightz. I don't know. Um, I'll link it below. But this is uh, basically a magnet. So when I put my mic on it, it just picks it up. It's real easy. I can do it without looking at it pretty much most of the time and I think it looks really cool. So the magnet is permanently mounted via super glue to just this area here. Um, and so is the other side of the magnet to the mic. So then the actual uh, brains are down there on my, on my left foot. Kind of hard to see here. I'll increase the exposure for you so you can see down there. So right there is where the brains are uh, that control everything. And then over here behind, I have this mounted, see if I can show you. I have this mounted to a, to what they call a pro clip. So I actually, actually have two pro clips. I have one for my cell phone and I have one obviously for the ham radio. What's great about pro clips is you can take them off. They're not permanent at all. Uh, and I think they're a great option for mounting things uh, semi-permanently. So. Using Pro Clips for both of these, I have both versions. I think they have one more that goes right here or something. I never bought it. Um, but these have worked really well for me. They don't fall off. It's very stable. Um, so my, like I said, my iPhone goes here. So then right here we have um, a Switch Pro, the four, four light unit or four switch unit. They do sell a 12 one, 12 unit, uh, 12 light switch unit one. But I don't think it'd fit here very well. Believe it or not, this is, um, this right here, there used to be a, a brown, kind of tacky, honestly, um, wood grain thingamabobber, whatever it's called. And it, go, it would go right here. Uh, so I pop that out and where the pressure plates used to sit for that, for that brown fascia um, happened to line up exactly with the Switch Pro's threads for their bolts on the backside. So this has been in my truck for almost three years, I think, and has never fallen off ever. So I'm pretty stoked with, with how this set up. Um, it's never fallen off, even though there's no bolts behind it. All I did was just push it in and it stayed the entire time. Uh, all right, so that's that. And then the last thing I think, uh, I can't think of anything else besides this, is uh, how I mounted my iPad. This is a, ram mount squeezing thingy for my iPad mini, I forgot what it's called, mini four, I think. Um, so what I ended up doing is I ended up mounting this directly to the, this panel here, this plastic panel, didn't even take it off. I just kind of eyeballed it 
and stuck it in there and started screwing. Um, and in hindsight, that was really dumb. But as most things go when I'm working on my truck, I'm in a hurry because I'm going on a trip and I want to get it done. So I just ran the risk. And the screws that came with the ram mount were the screws that I used and it didn't ruin anything behind here. Um, I have since taken this panel off. There's something back there that I would worry about. Um, so I got, like I said, I got lucky, but it worked out. And then this is just a, I think it's their half inch ball, I'm pretty sure. And then a six inch riser with their, with their appropriate um, clamp here for the iPad. Uh, so that's pretty much everything. I can't think of anything else in the interior that I would want to talk about. I guess I could talk about this actually, let's get back. Uh, this is my brake controller. I have this mounted here and there's the readout, which is great. Uh, it is made by Hopkins, I think. Uh, again, I'll look for it and post it when I can find it. Um, but this has worked out really well for me as well for towing the trailers. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Anyway, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, happy to answer anything you guys might want to know about my setup. Ciao.